Hey guys, this is SB and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and we're going to go and head down to Fred's office as always and see what today's challenge is going to be for my reward fish breakfast. So uh, across we go. Every morning I see this uh, this happy snow golem. He looks happy as, as, you, as ever today. <laughs> Don't know why he's so happy, but he is happy. Okay. No reward fish there. It must be somewhere else. I wonder where. I wonder where. Anyway, if, if you watched last episode, you'll you'll understand why I'm... Uh, a little bit skeptical of, uh, of where it might be if it's not where I can see it. Uh, so we'll go through here anyway. We shall go and get scanned. Are we going to be allowed through? We are indeed going to be allowed through. Through the Iron Golem security and now down to here. We're going to get our eye scanned. Is This gonna, this is gonna also going to allow me through. There we go. Good morning, Sean. Ignored as usual. Okay, not a problem. Oh, carry on. <laughs> uh, oh, have we got an assigned dog day? It looks like it. The dog assigned today has been lightning, I think. Is that lightning? I saw the yellow. Yeah, it is indeed lightning. Hello, lightning. Are you all right? You look a little bit unsure of me. And I don't think he likes it in there, to be honest, but he's out anyway. Okay, and good morning, Fred. Uh, so your fish is at the best bed shop, Fred. You know, last time you told me where my fish was, it wasn't there and it was under my bed. You, you... Lightning, what are you doing running around? You're not going to do that again, are you? Ah. Fred, that, I don't care how funny it was, okay? It better be there, otherwise I will not be happy. Come on, Lightning, we're gonna we're going to the best bed shop, which I don't know if it's the best place to take a dog, because there is lava there, believe it or not. Um, But you know what? I'm just going to go anyway, so we're going to go and uh, press this button. And, you know, for a fish, I'm willing to do it, basically. I'm willing to do it for a fish, okay? Uh, well, I'm not willing to uh, to lose a dog, that's, that's for sure, but I think we'll be okay. I'm sure that Lightning is not going to... Uh, Run into lava uh, willingly. You never know, but I'm sure he won't. I'm sure he'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and go th through here. How's the guardian doing? There he is. He's all the way over there. He doesn't see me. Look at him. <laughs> he was never intended to be in there, but he just... He's one of the escaped guardians when I was building my aquarium and putting guardians in there. And, you know, ever since ever since I did that, he, he escaped. He went in there and I've just never been able to get him out. So he's sort of been a permanent feature in there, really. Uh, right. Where is the best bed shop? I think it's up this way, actually, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's across here. And then, is it round the, it might even be round the back of the red hot shop. It is indeed. Here it is, okay. The best bed shop. Because this is the best place to buy beds in the whole of Minecraft. There is no better place. Okay. Lightning, you sit here, okay, where I can keep an eye on you, all right. The best bed shop. And there's my reward fish. Look at this. Is it, is it? It is indeed a reward fish. Let me take that then. Okay. As uh, so you can see, if you would like a bed next to water, you can have that. Next to lava. If you're an idiot, <laughs> you can have your bunk bed. We have four bunk beds there. Uh, your flowery bed, your TNT bed, if you also like to live on the edge, and uh, your spooky bed, if you know you, you're having nightmares or something. I don't know why you'd want to sleep in a bed like this, but it's pretty creepy. Also, uh, it comes with uh, a guardian effect, apparently. I've just been uh, hit by the guardian. Okay, that's, uh, that's not good. I'm going to just do my uh, my usual thing, I suppose, where I just. I run along here and I just go to the dairy and I get a bucket of milk whenever I get hit by that minor fatigue. Because that minor fatigue lasts a long time and I don't really want to, uh, don't want to be having to worry about it, to be honest. So we'll go through here to the dairy. <laughs> it's the only problem with having those guardians in my world, to be honest. Like, they're not, they're, like, they're really cool to be in the aquarium, but the minor fatigue that comes with it is slightly annoying, it has to be said. So the dairy is somewhere, uh, I think it's right next door to the, uh, the Jolly Jumper shop. Here it is. The, is it the dairy? There we go. Look at this. So... Do we have any milk lying around or, or, or something? We should do in a chest, I think. That's wheat. That's not what I'm after. We have milk right here. Okay, perfect. Let me go and drink this. All right, and then we can refill it with the cows. Uh, there we go. We don't have many cows left in the dairy. <laughs> yeah, just We only needed two. We only need one technically, but t two can supply all the milk that's needed in the world. So we, we don't have to worry about that because it's right next to the milkshake shop. So, you know, that, that they uh, they work together. They're partnered and they sort themselves out and everything. But the minor fatigue is gone. That's the main thing, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, um, yeah, going to eat my reward fish as soon as I'm hungry. Not apparently quite hungry just yet. Uh, I also need to get some more food. I'm a little bit low on food at the moment. As you can see, I have just three steak left. So I'll go to, I think I have some in the kitchen to be honest. So we should be absolutely fine with that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. And uh, yeah, then we've got various things to get done today. So we should have some stuff in here. Look at this, loads of food available. M moldy cookie, rotten fish. Rotten potato. All my food's gone off. Are you kidding me? Wait, there must be some in it. It's okay. Stale bread, moldy mutton, soggy salmon, rotten carrot. The golden apples, they're okay. Okay, nice. The pumpkins, I can't really eat them, but they're okay. Moldy fish, sour milk. Is the water okay? The water's okay, I suppose. That's good. Uh, rotten melon slice. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what's happened in here. It, the food's been kept in a chest and it's just too warm in here, okay? And it's all gone off. It needs to be kept in a cool cold environment like a freezer or something and yeah or a fridge yeah that's that's where we've gone wrong with this um 
Okay, I'm gonna have to just live off golden apples today, I guess, because all this food's gone off. And I'm gonna have to build something better, okay? Because that chest is not good enough for storm. Where on earth did lightning go as well? I, tell you, I took my eyes off him for one second and he's, he's off and about. Okay, well, I'll not worry about him. Um, Yeah, I tell you what I should do. Let's, let's do some moving about then. Hold on. We could, if we maybe build a freezer, like, here's what I'm thinking. We build like a fridge. I, I don't think I can dig under here because there's like, there's a chest room. So I need to be careful. But maybe if we put the, like, we dig under here, maybe. Let's have a look. If we, if we dig out this and then we could like put a freezer underground. I <laughs> just see you. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Yeah, we could put a freezer underground here. I think there's going to be space there. We could put it there. Uh, we just move these over there then. Okay, this could work. See, that's why I can't do it here because there's like, there's a room there. You gotta, I've got to be careful, but this, this could all work out nicely. Um, and then we could just move some stuff over there. Okay, so what do I want? I want this to be moved as well. So let's go and, uh, and get this. Okay, we'll take that out. And then what we could do is we could just put that, uh, if we put this here, maybe. So we'll go and put the the stairs in this position. I should be using an axe. Why do I, you know, I've been playing Minecraft for years and I still use the wrong tools. In my very first episode, I was using the wrong tools for the job. And uh, all these episodes later, I'm still using the wrong tools for the job. Okay, we can put this here. And then, yeah, we can have a little freezer uh, there. So let's go and uh, just move that to there. We'll put an item frame in there with uh, that. So that's exactly how it was. Um... Maybe we, we could do with maybe some... Let's move... Maybe if we move this, I could do with, like, a a, a freezer kind of next to where it was, if that makes sense. Uh, let me get another thing. Like, I could do with... Um, I'll show you what I mean. I, I've kind of got an idea for, like, a walk-in freezer. That's kind of the thing I'm thinking. But to do that, I'm going to need a block where this... Yeah, this needs to move. Okay. I'm going to need a block right here. Okay. <laughs> Along with all the other stuff that comes. Um, in fact, yeah, we're going to have that there. And then if we have... Uh, what do we want? We want the spruce wood... Right there, okay. If we have that there, and then what we can do is we can have like, uh, I'll grab the doors and everything, and yeah, we could just be like a little walk-in freezer kind of thing. A bit of kitchen moving around. It it happens though, doesn't it? Uh, we need some spruce wood here as well. Let's just put that there. Um, what do you reckon? A bit of spruce wood here as well. Do we have any spare buttons? We have a couple of buttons around, so let's put a button on here. And then if we grab the, I'm gonna have to. Mm, I need some more white wool actually. I need white wool and maybe, do I need another item frame? Oh, we'll put, yeah, I need a new item frame and a glass pane. And then that can go on there just so that it's covering up the stonework there. Okay, that's going to work. And then what we can do is we can go and grab these iron doors. Uh, let's put an iron door like that. There we go. And then we'll have another iron door right here. And then we can sort of walk into there. We can maybe put an item frame on the inside of that door. We need a, a lever there, you would say. Okay. Now uh, we've got space here as well. Do we have any, we're going to need another piece of white wool, I think, just to go on here. And then what we can do, uh, we'll put that there, is we'll put a white wool there. We'll put the chest on there with all that. And then that all moves nicely. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's put a, uh, a brewing stand in the corner. There we go. Okay, that's that's just going to have to be moved over there like that. So we'll do that. Right, I need a few a few different things then. I, I'm going to need a lot of stuff for the freezer downstairs. Let's see uh, what we can find. We should have, I'm pretty sure we'll have some white wool around. I hope so. We'll go and check uh, these chests over here. Uh, I don't need much, just a little bit. No, we're, we're fresh out of white wool. What about, if I have some string, I can craft some, maybe. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we have loads of string, so we can at least craft the white wool we need. So, um, I think you can just craft it here, right? Yeah, let's just grab, uh, I think 10 should be way more than I, uh, I need. Um, what else do I need? I'm going to need some ice. Uh, where do we keep ice? I do, uh, what do we have in here? I could use sea lanterns, maybe. Yeah, one, two, three, four of those. I know there's ice in a shulker box somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah, if we use uh, packed ice, we'll grab some of that. Do we have any regular ice around? I have a chest for regular ice, actually. Um, maybe some more item frames would be good. Uh, what are these? Are these chests here? Yeah, we could grab a few chests then. Let's uh, let's go and do that. Um, let's grab four of those. Uh, item frames. Yeah, we have loads of item frames. We'll just take all of those. Um, I could do a lever. Is there any levers in here? Am I going to have to craft a lever? It's not the hardest thing in the world to craft, I'll be honest with you. Um, actually, maybe in the redstone chest. There's a redstone chest. I want to go through all my stuff here to try and find. Look at that. We've got a lever there. Okay, perfect. Uh, what do we need? Yeah, we need, we need, I'm gonna, maybe some ladders so I can get up and down. Yeah, ladders. Let's do that. We're going to need, um, ice. It's ice in this, oh, <laughs> you're always in the way, Lightning, always. Uh, don't mean that in a bad way. As uh, so we've got that, uh, do we need anything else, maybe? I think that should, that should be, another, maybe another glass, oh, maybe, yeah, glass pane. Uh, do we, oh, we have glass at least. Oh, glass panes. We have a chest for glass panes as well. I only need one of those. Okay. That should... That should be good enough, you know what? That should be absolutely perfect to uh, to put together everything I need to fix up the kitchen and put together like a free. It is dark outside. You know what? Just in case that lightning strays outside, I'm just going to sit him down inside now, okay? There we go. You just sit. You you guard the cakes. <laughs> Don't you dare do this. <laughs> Don't you run around. <laughs> you sit down there. You guard the cakes. Uh, I'm going to need a lever. 
Let's have a look. So the lever, if we put it on here, and then we can just walk in and out easily, okay? One of these days, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna end up accidentally locking myself, like, in the in the freezer or something and freezing today. I hope that doesn't happen, but not today. That's not happening. I hope, I hope not, unless I do something stupid. So that like that, that works nicely. Uh, we'll put a piece of white wool on there. Do we need, yeah, we need white wool on there as well. We'll put that chest right here. Do we have any spare carpet? We have two pieces of spare carpet. Okay, that's, that's pretty good because we could have a piece of carpet on there as well. Then we're going, yeah, put the item frame here and then we'll put the glass pane in there. So that's kind of all of that. That's like my little microwave. We have my oven here, another microwave there. That's all perfect, okay. All this food's gonna have to be thrown away as well in here, by the way. It's all it's all gotta go. Um, I kind of like working through the night, you know. It's dark. We don't need to go to bed, though. We don't need to. And uh, I suppose what I do now is I just dig downwards, okay. So, uh, how far do we... I'm gonna be careful because there's things below me that I have to avoid as well. So, let's just go maybe two, three, four. If we go five down, then we can we dig this to be three high out? Let's, let's just dig this way a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll go... Should we make it... I don't know. If we go, like... Is four enough, do you think? One, two... Uh, one, two, three, four. You know, we'll go one more. I think we do. We have space for it. We'll see if we dig this way. All looks okay to me. All looks absolutely fine. It's very dark in here, actually. Can I just put a few torches down, just temporarily, so I can actually see what I'm doing? So we'll dig out a bit of a room here. Uh, how far do we want to go? Uh, let's just dig along. Maybe seven. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. Ooh, okay. Wait. Uh, wait. Was there, I thought there was a gap. I was above. Nothing there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, yes, yeah, seven there. Okay, that's perfect. And then we can, we'll put that there. And then we'll just, we'll dig out this room. We'll make it three. It doesn't have to be big. It's just a freezer. But this is going to be what I can store all my stuff in. I won't have any more moldy fish or anything uh, getting in the way of me, okay? It'll all be absolutely perfect. So let's go and um, and do these. It's more the, the fish that I was upset about, really. <laughs> more than anything else. So we've got this. We want to just dig it up one more height. And then I'm thinking we make all the walls packed ice. And then that's going to keep everything nice and cool, isn't it? Because pack, you can't get much colder than packed ice, can you? Okay, it's, it's it's ice, it's cold. It should work perfectly for a freezer. And packed ice is so cold that it, it doesn't melt either. You can't melt packed ice. So I think that's going to be perfect. Let's have the floors and everything. Uh, so we're going to mine away at this stone. All right, perfect. Oh, okay. See, I think these hoppers are from my auto storage room. Okay, it's gone dark. We'll just let it go dark for a second. Um, in fact, what if we put maybe. Uh, let's have a look. So we, we we could just add some like some some sea lanterns in the wall just now. Uh, how many we have? We have four. Okay, maybe I need some more. So I'll go and get some more in a moment. But for now, we can just put some. That that keeps the room light, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go and dig out the floor. Um, a lot of this stone. In fact, I could be smart about this. Okay, send it through to the auto storage system. This stone. I don't want you know stone cluttering up my inventory. We'll just send it through. There we go. That's that's that sorted. And then we can go and put ice all the way along the bottom here. So this is just going to be a nice little bit of flooring in. Perfect. Okay, um, we'll just go and bring that back as well. There we go. So that's like the flooring all sorted. Uh, we need just to get these walls. I probably should have done the floor last because the this is making me slipping and sliding when I'm trying to dig now. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying, I'll be honest with you, but uh, it's like ice skating whilst you're building, I suppose. Uh, so we'll go and just f uh, mine away all of this. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like lightning would have been in the way if I'd let him down. He would be slipping and sliding in the way as well. So I think it's the best idea that I've um, I've left him up there, okay? Uh, oh, we've got more hoppers here. We've just got to be careful I don't break anything. All right. Um, yeah, there's little hoppers everywhere. <laughs> is this taking me to the outside? I don't think it is. I think there's, uh, there's stuff above me there. Um, right, so we'll go and dig out this, and then we'll get this uh, filled in with packed ice as well. There we go. Okay. Nicely done. Look at this. See, <laughs> as you can see, building is a lot higher, uh, harder when you're on... Uh, when you're on packed ice, I mean the hoppers, I'm everywhere with this, okay? Definite, note to self, do the, if the floor is ice, do it last, okay? Um, maybe, it probably doesn't even need to be ice for the floor, to be honest with you, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, so we'll go and fill in this. We, we have got the roof to do as well, and then, uh, obviously we've got the decorational things to do, I need, well, not decorational, but the actual, th the storage to add, I suppose, you know, I can add uh, item frames in, uh, I can add some chests in, and then everything here will be cool, we will not be having a problem with moldy fish, moldy potatoes, all of that stuff, sour milk, none of that. That it'll all be kept nice and cool. Maybe someone would say frozen. Someone would say it might take a bit to thaw out, you know. But I'm gonna have to get some new food in as well. I'm, I'm gonna go to find some and maybe uh, pick some freshly, uh, you know, some some crops or something like that just to make this work. Because at the moment everything is, uh, yeah, everything. I, I'm, I'm I'm out of food basically. I've got to replace all my food. <laughs> so yeah, always make yourself a. Uh, you gotta be careful that I don't break anything. Uh, yeah, always make yourself a freezer in Minecraft. Okay, don't just use chests to store food. Okay, it doesn't work out. Okay, right, we've almost done this as well. 
just got to dig out this. And then when this is filled in, it will be job done. And it's, you know, it's a, a big ice room. Good job I got all that packed ice. Good job I found the uh, the ice spikes biome. Otherwise, this room would be, have to be very dark just to make sure that the ice doesn't, like, if, I'd have to use regular ice and I'd be careful that that ice doesn't melt. Okay, I've got a little bit of regular ice, I think, as well. So I can use that a little bit, but I have got l quite a lot of light in here. So I have to be careful about that as well. So we'll go ahead and dig that uh, like that. Perfect. Okay, so that's, that's looking quite good. We could even dig out maybe this around here. Um, do we want to make this all packed up? Yeah, let's go all the way up. Okay, uh, ooh, can I dig out where that? I can. Maybe that and that. Okay, and then we'll have all that packed ice. Because technically, the moment you open that door, it's, it's the freezer, isn't it? So I think I agree with that. Okay, I think we, um, yeah, we messed that up a little bit. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Packed ice there and then packed ice there. Perfect. I can't really change that wool because... Uh, you, you see that from the outside, so I can't do it in there. And then we just need some ladders, so we'll have ladders going up like this, I think. And um, we can stop there, I think, actually. Yeah, we can just have it. You come in there, so then, you know, you want your food, you go into your freezer, you drop down, and this this is the freezer, okay, right? We need to add uh, a little bit more, uh, well, a few more things in, I think. So maybe, let's grab some ice, okay? Uh, let's go and do this. Let's dig out this a little bit, okay? Uh, and we'll put chests in here. How about that? Uh, let's dig out the back as well. We'll replace this to be packed ice. Okay. So that like that. Uh, okay. We'll avoid just about avoiding these hoppers as well, which is good. Um, I'm breaking everything else as well. Uh, so we'll have that to be packed ice like that. And then we'll also put it in the floor. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that's not perfect. That is in the wrong place. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is ice there, ice there. And then we're going to go and put some chests. Uh, yeah, just all the way. Like this. Perfect. Okay, that's going to store food in. Uh, let me grab some item frames as well. What we can do is we just have loads of item frames on this wall here, okay? I still haven't had my reward fish breakfast yet either. I haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> let me eat that fish, okay? The last fresh fish. I hope this is fresh. Uh, it's tasty. You know that Fred freshly caught that today. That has to be said. Um, we can maybe add some item frames on this wall as well. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I, okay, I need to find some food, basically. Is it still dark? Is it coming morning yet? It's just coming morning. I'm tired. I've been working through the night. As to be said, you can you can stand up now, lightning. Okay, don't get into any more any trouble though. Um, let's have a look. We have rotten fish. Do you think if we cook it, it might go okay? You know what? Let's put it in the uh, in the oven and see what happens. Okay, we'll uh, we'll put seven in there and we'll put eight in this one and let's see if when cooked, it goes to normal cooked fish. Can we cook the rotten fish and can it taste okay? Sometimes you can cook things and they can be saved. You see, you know. So let's have a look. Cooked fish. It has become regular cooked fish. That's perfect, that is. Okay, we can... Okay, we can just wait for all that to uh, to cook then. Um, I'd like to get some more fish, actually, in there. That would be a good idea. Let's let's go to the fish farm, because that's always quite freshly cooked, uh, freshly caught fish. And and it's outside, I suppose, so it'll be kept cool. You know, because my house is obviously much warmer than outside, so everything, you know, gets warm in there, and that's why the stuff's gone up, that all the food's gone off. But outside, everything's cold. There's snow everywhere. I mean, it, there wouldn't be snow everywhere if it wasn't cold out here, so maybe... Just maybe food that's been kept outside in chess might still be uh, still be okay. If not, I'm at the fish farm. I can catch some more food, can't I? So that's a good thing as well. Uh, I'll also pop to the redstone factory. I can go ahead and then uh, see if there's any crops to harvest. They should be okay, and then we can uh, we can use those and just store those. And everything should be okay. I think I'm 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 feeling like this will be all right. Uh, any fish in here? What's this? Raw salmon. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Do we? Let's grab them all then. Uh, clownfish. They're all all okay. Isn't it? It's a fishing rod. What do we have? We have one raw fish. We'll take that as well. All the food we can get, we'll take it, okay? We're just going to have to bring everything together now, okay? Um, what else have we got? Yeah, so Redstone Factory is the next place I think we need to visit. Uh, we need to go ahead and, uh, yeah, harvest the crops. If there is any crops to harvest, I don't remember if I've actually planted them since the last time I was there. So, yeah, that's the thing. I also don't seem to have used all, any of the steak because I, I haven't really done any moving about today other than sort of run to the best bed shop and back. I haven't really used up any, uh, any food, any hunger. I, I mean, I'm a little bit hungry now because I've done a bit of running, but... Not for a while. Okay, we need to grow some more crops. I'll set those off in between episodes. And uh, that's cactus. Do we have... What do we have in here? I can't eat pumpkins. Okay, but we did... We could have some melons. Let's grab some melon slices. They're always uh, a good thing to eat. Uh, don't eat cocoa beans. I think we're all right. I think that's going to be enough uh, food. Maybe we could grab some apples as well. That's always on the cards. Do we have any apples in here? 17 apples. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. I think I got one too many uh, things. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw those that down. That'll just despawn because I don't need the stone, do I? So we have 
Uh, we have some apples. We can just put those in there. They'll be uh, they'll be uh, kept okay. They won't go rotten or anything. I'm not going to kill any animals in front of you, okay? I'm not going to not going to take anyone. I could go to the butchers. That's going to have some fresh food in as well. Although that has a good storage system, I'm pretty sure, so that we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh. Is my fish finished, actually? Has it finished cooking? It looks like it has. So there's all my cooked fish. We can put the fish in the item frames because, you know, that's always uh, something I'm proud of. So we'll have all these cooked fish that can be uh, here. And then we can just eat those, you know, whenever we feel like, I suppose. So let's go and put all those along there like so. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, we can maybe have, like, a salmon there. There we go. So this is not going to go off now. This is going to be kept nice and cool. So this is perfect. We'll have clownfish there. And then what do we have here? Let's go... Um, Maybe if we just go and have melons all the way along here like this, and then we can go and put those like that. We can have uh, some... We'll have... An, the next row can be just for fish. Um, I also have all this soup. I th Do you think this needs to be kept cool? I would say it does, okay? I'd say we should keep the, the, the soup in here as well, the stew and soups. Uh, the apples as well. That can go in here. Let's, uh, let's go and make a row of apples. That's pretty good. I don't, also don't need my golden apples. The golden apples can actually go back upstairs because they're not, they're going to be kept okay. The steak I'll keep in my inventory. That seems to stay okay when it's in my inventory. All right, that's uh, that's good. So this is my little uh, my little freezer, okay, where I can keep all the food. Of course, I'll build up more food. I'll make some more bread and I'll get carrots and apples, and, well, and potatoes and all that stuff. Off the counters. We're supposed to keep, keep trying to keep these nice and clean and tidy. Uh, lightning. You can't go walking around on the counters. Um, we can put golden apples in here, I suppose. That's that's going to work, isn't it? Yeah, pretty pleased with that. I have a spare, like, cactus, um, cactus plant pot. I don't know if I can put this anywhere, would you say, that it's not going to look a little out of place. Um, I don't know if I have any spare, like, shelves lying around, really. Hello, Harry's the creeper in there. I don't think I really do. Um, we could, do we have, if I get a log, I could put it on here, couldn't I? Let's, let's go and get a, honestly, I'm not, I'm doing too much now. Do we have wood in here? We do. Okay, let's, uh, let's go and do this. Okay, there we go. We'll go and put, I'm, I'm thinking just a nice little log just here. There we go. Bit of decoration. Okay, maybe that goes on the other wall. Actually, let me. Let me. You, you, sometimes you gotta you gotta just you know go that extra mile. Okay, that's the wrong way up. Uh, yeah, you gotta uh, you gotta make sure that it looks okay. All right. Yeah, I think that looks better. We can maybe have one on that wall as well. To be honest, maybe maybe more than one would be good. I also want to pop to the butchers. Uh, just add something new there because just in case that the food we can't I can't afford to have my meat going off again. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice blocks underneath the chest in the butchers, and then, you know, anything stored there is going to be completely safe and, and kept cool, isn't it? Okay, that's that's an important thing. Keep all your chests cool so that things don't go moldy, okay? So we'll go over to... It's just here. It's not far away at all, okay? We can, we get to admire Fred's face on the way as well. Is it... Are you really admiring it? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> so we'll walk into here. You can see we've got all sorts of stuff. Let's go and, uh, yeah, dig away underneath all of these chests so that can go... <laughs> What are you doing, Lightning, looking through the walls like this, eh? Yeah, I know you probably... I should give him some steak. You know, you can, you can actually feed dogs, like, rotten food and stuff. So maybe that can uh, that, that rotten mutton can go there because their stomachs can handle it more than humans. Humans will get poorly or penguins, for that matter, will get poorly. But uh, uh, dogs, dogs' stomachs can handle it. Dogs' stomachs, stomachs can handle it. So, yeah, uh, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. Do we want to go downstairs and maybe do it as well? Um, I don't know if we... Do we need to? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's let's just do it in case, okay? So, we'll just it's <laughs> it's a very uh, it's a very careful job, isn't it? Okay, there we go, that, that like that, and then over this one as well, just to keep everything nice and cool, because that ice is going to produce enough to keep it cool. I could have just you could say that in my house I could have just put ice under the chest blocks, but for my house I wanted to go the extra distance, you know, have a fully freezer room and everything. But I think yeah, just to keep everything cool in the butchers. There's probably more food in the world, but this is sort of stuff that gets stored for a while, so I want to uh, make sure of it. I think there's a little bit of wood there as well. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up, I think, for today's episode. I'm going to eat the last of my steak. I'll share one with you as well. You, you Apparently, you can't eat it, I'm afraid. You must have had something to eat already without me looking, eh? I don't know. But anyway, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do make daily videos. So yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.